Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you're well. High alert, Allah is sending warning signs to a nation and its leaders, but they're consistently ignoring and disregarding them. They are being issued severe wake-up calls to help them escape their fantasy world, but regrettably, they don't seem that interested in doing so. What happened this time? Which country are we referring to? And is this the final warning sign, or will there be more? Heavy torrential rains are generating flash floods across Saudi Arabia, according to reports. The country has been so severely impacted by these floods that numerous video clips of cars floating and being carried away by the flood waters are circulating on the internet. <laughs> While this may seem very unusual to some that a desert area is rocked by floods and thunderstorms, the truth is that for the past year, the Arab nations have been experiencing this warning over and over again. Last month too, Saudi Arabia faced similar flood-like situations. Earlier this year, Arab nations, which include the UAE and Oman, faced immense flooding whose video clips had gone viral all over the internet. Are all of these floods and thunderstorms in Arab deserts a warning from Allah for Arab leaders' silence on the Palestinian situation? The truth is that the Arab silence is a green light for the oppressor to continue the ruthless attack on the Palestinians and even Lebanon, knowing that the Arabs will not speak out against it. What are the opinions of Arab leaders? That they simply keep quiet about the matter and that one day everything will return to normal on their own? The occurrence of all these exceptional flooding and severe weather disruptions should not be disregarded. Rather, it should be interpreted as an indication from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to awaken from the deep sleep and rescue the Muslim ummah. These unexpected happenings are not out of nowhere, but rather a precursor to a significantly bigger incident from which the Arabs would be unable to escape if they remained in their current sleeping state for long. But it appears that some Arab nations, especially the UAE, are more concerned with having fun and preparing for tonight's Halloween than with the Ummah's current position. Dubai is all prepared this year and has made all the best arrangement in luxury hotels and other venues to make this year's Halloween as memorable and scary as possible. It's terrible that Dubai is playing tricks on the children and making terror fun with these demonic festivities, while Palestinian children live in constant fear of losing their parents and siblings every single moment of their lives. When will these Arab nations pay heed to the warning signs shown by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When will they ever do something fruitful to end the suffering of Palestine? When will they go back to Islam and leave these satanic ritual-filled festivals and music concerts? Only time will tell. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Muslim leaders. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala end the pain of the Palestinians. Ameen.